All right, class, this is our, our third and uh, probably final video here. Uh, we were talking about sketching the views of this little uh, uh, abstract thing. In our second video, we talked about line types as well as choosing the front view and the proper alignment and placement of your side, top, bottom views. Uh, in this one, I'm going to talk a little bit about some sketching uh, kind of tips and finish off drawing the side view here. Uh, the first thing you'll notice that we talked about was using a wooden pencil. Um, I would encourage you to uh, move your paper around as you see fit. Uh, as you're sketching, you will naturally want to bend at your wrist and make lines. Okay. Now, when you do this, this becomes the pivot point right here, and you're essentially drawing a curve whose radius is equal from the wrist to your pencil point. As you try to do this, you will make lines that are slightly curved instead of lines that are straight. If you instead try to keep your arm straight, or keep your wrist straight and move your whole arm, you will get lines that are much more straight. Okay, so as you try to do this, try not to bend at the wrist, but instead bend at the shoulder and move your whole arm, which is locked, right? <clears throat> now, it is, as you practice this, you should draw lines in different orientations. You will find that uh, in the orientation I'm standing in right now, it is easy to draw lines in this direction. It is a little bit more difficult to draw lines in this direction. Therefore, when you need to draw lines, rotate your paper so that you're always moving your arm this way, but the paper is moving so that you can draw different features and different orientations. Okay, does that make sense? So what do we need to finish off here? We need, <coughs> excuse me, this little notch cut out. So I'm going to measure it off here. I like to mark off faintly where are the ends of my features and then literally just connect the dots. And as we talked about the last video, I like to go back and forth touching the tip and then slowly drag the pencil so that I can get practice in moving the line where it's going to be and then slowly and faintly add it, okay? Now, now that I have my construction line here, I can make this nice and dark. Notice I am rotating the paper so that I am always sketching the same comfortable orientation for me. If you choose to use a straight edge, that is fine. I personally like to draw just freehand like this, no straight edge. Whatever you choose is okay. I will be able to tell which way you're doing it, and I will grade you accordingly. Uh, grading wise, I will grade you based on expectations for where we are starting. So right now we're starting, I'm assuming you've never done this before, and that's fine. So whatever you're coming up with, I'll give you feedback on it. If you're doing it freehand, I would expect some of your lines to be a little bit more rough, a little less straight. That's okay. If you are going to use a straight edge, then your lines better be straight because you've got a straight edge. <clears throat> now, we've got this feature. What about these, these things over here? Now, can we see them from this view? No, we cannot. So they're going to be hidden. But what are they? Well, we've got this slant first, kind of comes off from right here and goes up to there. Right, so I'm gonna faintly just mark this in. Okay, these are all construction lines at this point. What else do we have? We have a curve that goes up to a flat section, and then we have this whole flat section here. So where's that flat section? Uh, we should we can measure this. I'm going to say it's right here. Also note it should align with your front view because all the features are there. It's the same object, right? So it should go up here, and it's this thick. So we're going to have this wall right here, right? This wall is going to come all the way down. And I've noticed here I've misplaced this wall should line up with this. So this is not. Right. So here's where you use your eraser. If you mess up, erase it. If it's a construction line, leave it. All right, so I'm gonna make this, this wall needs to be bigger. Okay, so now I have this wall, right? What else do I have? I have this, uh, the bottom edge of this circle here. It's gonna go right here. 
okay what else do i have i have uh oh this wall extends out here until about even with this edge so even with this edge it comes out so this wall keeps going and then it connects to where where does it connect it connects to here i'm going to assume that this is my center line here and this is going to be a nice curve right so there's my half wave or my 70% uh, point Draw a faint curve back and forth, right? Now, <clears throat> that's my construction line. This is a hidden feature, so I need to make it hidden. So dash, 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 dash. Dash, right. okay. Now, I have all, you know, I'd say, oh, there's all this craziness. Let's talk a little bit about this. Remember our line types, visible lines take precedence. So I have this visible edge here. You can see this, that's here. It happens to overlap with this edge, which is hidden. Well, the visible line takes precedence, so we don't draw the hidden line right here. This feature is hidden and there's no visible edge over it. So we see it here. Let, same thing here, this little cutout, this is a visible edge. It takes precedence over the back wall here, this back, this back edge right here, which is hidden. So right here, we saw visible. Above that, it's hidden, okay? This is our object here. Now we could also draw the top view, which would look something like this. We would have a hidden feature here and also a hidden feature here, okay? But I will leave that for another exercise. So what do we talk about here? Proper alignment and placement, again, for our views. We talked about keeping your wrist still and sketching with your uh, at the shoulder to uh, draw your lines nice and straight. We talked about rotating your paper so that you are always sketching in a comfortable manner for you to draw straight lines. And we also talked about drawing faint construction lines and leaving them and then going over your final lines nice and dark.